4070 live in New York City, Times Square. Yo, what's good? What's good? I'm good. What's up? How you doing? How's everything? I'm alright, man. Yeah. So tell us about your city. Yeah, this is New York City. You, you know what it is. The Times Square, the biggest of all. You see everything. You see bad flips. You see all types of stuff that's going on. You understand? This is my city. You see all types of entertainments, flashing titties, all of that you can see. <laughs> as long as you just enjoy yourself, you're having a good time. It's about having having a good time. It's all about enjoyment. The, sleep, the city don't sleep. It's always moving. It's like consistent. You see all types of stuff that's going on. You see all types of people. You see all types of crazy stuff. From midgets to big people to all types of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's all love. That's You're that. talking about the promoter here, one of the prominent ones. Tell us about your promotion. How are you getting to it? So first of all, I'll start from my mother. She was a big international promoter. So what she did was she did a she promoted a lot of future artists from Pasuma, K1, a lot of people back then with the older artists. So I learned that and I took that and I mixed it and I used it for my own advantage. I started doing a lot of celebrity promoters that's in New York City. From 50 Cent, DeVito, Central C, all types of all types of um, big artists. Fabio, mm. Fabio Foreign, um, all types of people. Right here in New York City, I, first of all, I started as brunch. I started doing like little brunch in New York City, like brunches on Saturdays, on Sundays. People come together. Then I met my boy named Felix. Mm. Um, he was a big celebrity celebrity promoter himself. So he put me onto the game. He said, hey, Tune, come through. Let's promote. Let's do, let's do business. And from there, I started branching on. I started doing my own thing. So I learned that. I took that knowledge from him. Mm. And I used that knowledge and used it for myself. I started doing my own thing. But today, I'm still in the game, still doing a lot of big celebrities from Chris Brown, 50 Cent, like I said earlier. A lot of big promoters I'm dealing with. To get into the game, you got to just be honest. Be focused on one thing. Know, have a different swag of how you do your things. And just be, just be yourself. Understand? And build connections, build relationship. Loyalty is number one. And honesty. Tell me more about Afrobeat movement in New York City. How's it going? Afrobeats in New York City is big. What are Afrobeats in New York City? It's not. There's no music out here. You understand? But don't get me wrong. I love hip hop, but Afrobeats is taking over the world. So I believe Afrobeats is number one. Do you have any events coming up this year or next year? Yes, I have my uh, my big party. That I'm coming with is Yankee versus Giddy. So that one is what we do in New York City versus over there in Nigeria. Okay. So what we do, I'm going to bring New York City and I'm going to bring it to Nigeria. We all network. When is that? That one is in 2025 to be disclosed. Coming mm -hmm. soon. So stay tuned for that one. Well, Fatih will definitely be there. Definitely, you definitely. Know, we have fun. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Stay Tuned. You already know what's going on. New York City. What part of New York City are you from? I'm from East New York. East New York. Like. Yes. East New York, Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah cool. definitely. I've met Portable a couple of times. What are the things I've learned about him? Portable, um, he's a brilliant person. He knows how to market himself. He's a very intelligent person. Um, I like his music. Um, he's different from everybody. He gives the real culture and he gives the truth about Afrobeats and who he is. He don't need to fake anything. He just gives it to you and he gives you that experience of what you need. And I like it and he's doing his thing. So are you saying that Portable is the truth of Afrobeats? It's the truth of Afrobeats. Okay, right. I feel like we need more people like him to just you don't have to fake the. You don't have to fake what you're not to fake. Just be yourself and bring that real thrill, so people can relate to you and others can ad adapt to you and take that knowledge and do their own thing, so they can have more confidence of, of themselves and learn from you too. Hey, Tunes, give me your top Afrobeat artist you are listening to right now. Right now, I'm, I'm feeling portable right now. That's one, Davido, Ashaka, Burner Boy, and Ariel Star. And I for sure. So I just mentioned Ashake right now, and it's coming back to New York City, Madison Square Garden. What do you think? Because he's been silenced for a little bit. So I feel like him coming through and him bringing out bangers is really a good thing for him. And I, I like Ashake. He's very different in the industry, especially him being a fast rising star. He's really different in the industry, and I like what he's doing. And I want him, and I want to get to maybe next year in the future, we do a lot of big business soon. And we could do a lot of good things together. And I feel like he's going to be number one in the, on the Afrobeats. Well, thank you. Stay tuned.
everybody say it's on a 5078. Times Square in New York City. Everybody knows what's going on. For sure, man. Thank yeah. you, brother.